Okay, so the double angle identities refers to something like this. Is it possible to, if I have sine of, let's say, 80 degrees, okay, is it possible to divide this into 2, 40, and 40, and express it in terms of sine of 40, okay, or cos of 40? Can, is there some way of expressing this in terms of sine of 40 or cos of 40? Um, and the answer is, of course, again, yes. So what we have this time is, is it possible to do this, a plus a? Do we have an expression for sine of a plus a? And, of course, we have an expression for sine of a plus a. That's just the same as naming the b a, a, an a. Oh, why is that difficult? And we know that sine of a plus a is equal to sine of a Okay, so remember, sine is same sine different ratios. Okay, so sine is same sine different ratios. So this is cos of A. Okay, it should have been sine A cos B, but now we don't have an A plus B. We've got an A plus A, so it's just sine A cos A. Okay, same sine means this is a plus, so that's a plus. And the second one used to be cos a sine b but we don't have a b so we just put in the sign there so that here we see sine a cos a and here we actually also have sine a cos a the only difference is they multiplied the wrong way like two times three is six and three times two is six answer is still six okay called the commutative property of factors when we multiply we can uh, swap around so, what do we notice? We've got two things that's exactly the same. When we m m add them together, then we just have two sine A cos A's. And that's it. It's that simple. This is our conclusion. That sine of a double angle, in other words, sine of an angle that is multiplied by two, can be expressed as two times sine of that angle times cos of that angle. Okay. Beautiful. I, I really like that. Okay, so let's go to the next one. How about cos? Is cos any different? Well, cos has a little bit of an extra coolness to it. So cos of 2a would just be cos of a plus a as well. Okay, now we said that sine was same sine, different ratios. Cos is then different signs, different signs, <laughs> different things. Okay, different signs same ratios oh, okay same ratios okay so what we have is that cos of a is different sign same ratio so this is and it starts with cos so cos starts with cos so cos of a cos of a different signs so this must be negative sine of a sine of a okay and we know that when we multiply the same thing with itself, it's different way of writing is it's just with a square. So cos squared of a minus sine squared of a. Oh, that was so close. If that was a plus, then this would have been equal to one. Okay, which is uh, impossible. I mean, there's no way that you can just double the angle inside a cos and always get get one. Okay, so obviously that's that's a bit ridiculous. But we do notice something that that we have this square ratios okay and we know that's not equal to one so let me eliminate that so one expression that we have is that cos of 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a so whenever you see instead of a plus in between if it was a plus it would be one if it's not a plus in between it's either cos or it's uh, cos 2 of that angle, or it's minus. But now, one thing that we can do is, we can say, oh, but cos of uh, squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a. So now I have 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a, which means I've got 1 minus 2 sine squares a, 1 minus 2 of these guys, Okay, that's, that's another expression we can have for cos 2a. Or we can write sine squared a as 1 minus cos squared, cos squared a. And what happens now? Well, the negative gets multiplied in, so that becomes negative. 
and this one becomes a positive okay so we actually have a negative one and a positive cos squared a but there's also a positive cos squared a so I've got two positives cos squared a so two cos squared well two cos squared a and the negative one okay so there's three expressions for cos squared uh, cos of a double angle okay and there uh, there's the the three of them and again this I really again encourage you please go and and study this off by heart because it is indeed and, and when you use it a lot you are going to start knowing it off by heart but it is indeed something that you are going to have to recognize in an expression in order to simplify and there's no way of teaching you that it's really going to come with just doing plenty of these using this plenty of times and and starting to commit it to memory or to heart okay so that's what I wanted to show in this video in the next couple of videos we'll look at loads of examples of this so um, I hope to see you there